Welcome back to JJ Speed Shop. You know, we're balling on a budget, so we put an electric Volvo power steering pump in the 65 Mustang. We'll show you how to do it in just a Now I know what you're thinking. Sacrilegious, why would you put a Volvo power steering pump in an old Mustang? Well, if you look really close, this is kind of funny. That right there says FOMO Co. I assume Ford owned Volvo at this point in time. Maybe they did the engineering, maybe they didn't. I don't know. But the other thing is, we like to save money. So once you go through the whole thing of getting the brackets, the pulleys, the power steering pump, which power steering pump? You can't use the GM ones because they're gonna overpressurize it and this and that, so you gotta get a restrictor and then blah, 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 blah. If you use the Fox body ones, which bracket are you gonna use? Is the bracket gonna look ugly? Then you use the pump. Then you gotta change from serpentine over to a V-belt or change everything else over to a serpentine. Now you're just talking money, 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 money. Uh, the, the cheapest way that I could find with a old school hydraulic power steering pump that hangs off of the engine was about $250 to $300. This thing, all in all, is $140. So the pump itself is $60. You spend about twenty to twenty-five dollars in fittings, sixty bucks in hoses, and a little fusible link is probably five, ten dollars on Amazon. We haven't bought that yet, so I don't really know. But it's probably somewhere in that realm. The other thing is, I don't know if you've driven a lot of Fox bodies, but I have, he has, we've owned a bunch of them. A lot of times it is over power steering. Like you you really want it to calm down just a little bit. When you're driving on the highway, though, at 60 miles an hour, it's, it's a little unnerving how much slop is in the rack. I know that's the rag joint, too, but even with mine, has a, my 86 has a straight bar with two uh, universal joints on the end of it. It's still, it's just a little unnerving how loose it is. To, oh, you could just, boop, and then, hey, you're dead. There is a GPS-guided thingamadoogie that you can plug into the CAN bus on this. Uh, that will change it to 60% or 40% duty cycle at highway speeds, which is pretty sweet. And then when you're in the parking lot going really slow, it's full. You got you can turn and get in your spot real easy. Um, really, there's not a whole hell of a lot to it. I'll show you the part. Uh, I know I write like I'm 12, but this is 2008 to 2013 Volvo C30, C70, S40, or V50 power steering pump. We pulled this one from a V or C70. It was sixty dollars from the junkyard. T-bird rack sitting fittings. We got those from Speedway. They're ten bucks. This fitting we got that from Amazon. It was ten bucks. And then we bought these hoses locally. Uh, we have a hot rod shop just down the street from us. Performance Parts Plus. Uh, if you're ever in there, say hey to Pat for us. He's a good dude. He'll hook you up. And then a 40 amp fuse link. Yeah, like I said, you can probably get those five to ten bucks on Amazon. There's not a whole lot to it, but here's a side note. There are a lot of internet wizards and confusion on what these fittings are. Metric, I was, standard, yeah. Standard, what size are they? Are they M16? Are they this? Are they that? Speedway sells two for a T-Bird power rack steering, or uh, power steering rack, which is what all Mustang 2s are based off of Mustang 2 independent kits. Um, so there's M16 and M14 by 1.5, or there's 9 sixteenths and 5 eighths by 18, or 5 sixteenths, 5 eighths, 9 sixteenths, 18 threads per inch. Turns out they're the same. They're the exact same. If you put them next to side by side, if you try to screw them in the holes, they're the exact same thing, except for the standard are like three thousandths bigger. So we went with those, but whatever you can find, that's what they are. They are both, actually. Uh, I know a lot of people say, oh, no, they're metric. Oh, no, they're standard. They're both. They're the same. Just like slightly thousands of difference, but they both will screw in the holes. They both will seal. We went the standard ones because they were slightly bigger. Threads are the same. That's weird. It's, I, don't, I would have never guessed it. You're just as confused as I am. This is the bracket that came off of it. It's still on there. There was a bunch of extra over here that we cut off, so that way it's not just like hanging out in the middle of nowhere. On the cars, they're behind the passenger seat, our passenger headlight. They're just like sitting back in this little, they're kind of a 
kind of a pain to get out, but not too bad. We just braced this uh, bracket up a little bit. There's a bolt all the way through the frame and then a bolt up here connecting it to the thingy, radiator core support. The three wires you actually need to run this pump are, ah, this red one goes directly to the battery. This one goes directly to the battery or a ground, whatever you want. Uh, you want to put a, a fusible link in here so if this, you know, starts burning up, it doesn't burn the whole car to the ground. That's kind of a good thing. And then the one closest to the corner, which is this little wire here, it is green with a light blue stripe. This is your solenoid wire. That You want to put this to 12 volt switched. And the later pumps, which this one came out of a 2008, so this is a later pump, They'll give you about five seconds or so before it turns on. So when you turn the key, you're not gonna hurt, hear anything. They're doing that so you can start the car. So it's kind of a neat, and it doesn't add extra amp draw onto your starter, which is pretty sweet. Uh, these are your CAN bus wires. I don't know if we're gonna use these or not, but like I was saying earlier, these can go to a GPS controller, which is pretty sweet. So that way, when you're at 60, 65 mile an hour. This is only at 60% duty cycle, not 100, make it firmer. On eBay, they're about 100 bucks. So if you want to, you can do that too, and you'd have extra whatever. It'd be cool. I don't know, we're gonna try it first, and then if we need that, we, we won't do it, or we'll do that later. But right now, we're just gonna hook it up the way it is. We threw this on a battery. It works fine, sounds pretty cool. Uh, also, Another side note, if you're doing a Fox body rack or a Mustang 2 rack, the bottom one is your presser side, the top one is your return. So we just have, these are all-star performance, off the shelf, I think they're 18 inch, 24 inch, something like that, hoses. This one is an AN6 to an AN6. This is that other fitting that goes screws in here that adapts it. It's, it's pretty simple. I did a lot of Googling, searching and, and stressing over what am I actually doing. Poop and Google. Poop and Google, a lot of poop and Googles. Uh, you know, you've been there. And uh, the biggest thing was the rack fittings. I was stressing out about it, so <clears throat> I bought both of them and they both work. So, side note, that's, that's a good thing to know. If you're doing a, a rack, it's standard or metric, whatever you can find. M16 and an M18. No, M14, M16 by 1.5, and 9 16ths, 5 eighths, 18 threads per inch. Same, same. It'll work. You want the one with the little O-ring? Looks like, looks like this. It has a little O-ring that'll seal it, just threads right in there, and then converts it to an AN6 end. And that's, that's about it. Uh, we're going to hook up the battery real quick, and we'll show you how, what it sounds like, and I'll show you that little delay in here, too. All right, give me just a second. Okay, let's hook that up. God damn, that scared me. <laughs> hey, look. You have an electric power steering pump. <clears throat> you want to go full lock? <laughs> well, there you have it. There is a Volvo electric power steering pump and a 65 Mustang. I think that's pretty cool. I don't know about you, but that's pretty cool. Oh, if you saw last week's video or two weeks ago, whatever that was, if you saw the last video, we were making the covers for the shock towers. We're doing a Mustang too on the 65. So you have to cut the shock towers off and there's a hole. I'll show you the when they're painted. I think that looks pretty, 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 pretty trick. And next video, we'll be throwing this 302 and a T5 back in here. Complete Mustang 2 independent. It's going to be pretty sweet. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and hey, MF. See you.